Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel again for Pillars of Life, Health, Wealth, Love, and Relationship. I hope and pray that by the grace of God, all of us are strong and healthy today. The topic that I'm going to share with you today is about things we must improve daily in our life. And uh, the things that I'm going to share with you, I quoted this from the great and inspiring speaker, Jim Rohn. So I encourage you, if ever that you haven't heard about him yet, uh, his name is uh, Jim Rohn. Uh, there's really a lot of uh, inspiring things that he shared that you can watch on YouTube. And he even had books and it's really great to uh, learn something from him and once again the topic that I'm going to share with you today is about things we must improve daily in our life so first thing that we must improve daily in our life is learn the power of purpose so learn the power of purpose what does it mean so when we say purpose uh, this is uh, the reason why we're doing such a thing for example uh you wanted to have a healthy lifestyle so what is the purpose of doing that so knowing your purpose of doing such thing it will help you to keep moving forward even challenges are uh, coming to your way you would not easily uh, give up because you know the fact that you have the purpose of doing things. So knowing uh, your purpose, that's really important as we go in our daily life, like uh, having a good lifestyle or healthy lifestyle. What is your purpose of doing that? And of course, uh, we know that having a healthy lifestyle we live longer one of um, the things uh, when we say lifestyle healthy lifestyle it, like doing exercise we know that uh, by simple walking it will really help um, our body to boost up and uh, gives us more energy Next is like drinking a lot of water, eating uh, um, healthy food, and do some other stuff that refers to our physical health. And uh, by doing so, if we know our purpose, why we're doing it, sometimes it's challenging, but it helps us to keep going, to move forward because we know that at the end, there will be a reward on what we are doing now. If we have also a purpose for our physical health, it will be also really um, nice. So a purpose of doing something about our emotion. You know, um, our emotion, um, it's very important as we go along in life because our emotion, it helps us to balance life. It helps us to relate better to others and we can have a good relationship to others. And um, it's just so important to have a healthy emotional uh, thing in ourselves. It brings out the best of you. But if you are uh, emotionally uh, disturbed, it also comes out even you are not saying it because it shows to your action. So having um, emotional uh, stability in yourself there's also something that we can do about it to be able to uh, make it healthy sometimes because of our work because of the people around us the people that we encountered uh, in our life daily uh, it feels that we are emotionally drained so we need to um, reach hearts our emotional the same as uh, you know our physical we're also recharging it by sleeping and eating good food and, and relaxing so the same way as our emotional health so we need also to 
do something with our emotion and there's a lot of things that you uh, that you can do to help you with your emotional status in yourself so like reading good things or watching some uh, inspirational talk uh, whatever that you that would help you boast or lift up your emotion that's also a good things to do, include in our daily living and um, so as our uh, spiritual uh, life we also need to have a purpose um, to uplift our relationship with our God I'm not trying to convince everybody about that because uh, we are all different i respect everybody's religion i respect everybody's uh, belief this is uh, my personal things that i would like to share with you about the spiritual that um, there's also things that we can improve our spiritual reading the bible or reading some other christian books or even watching some inspirational things on um uh the youtube or whatever source that you feel comfortable uh doing so that will be really great we need also to improve our social life having time with our friends or people around us it's also a good thing that we can develop in ourselves each of us needs other to support us like the saying says, no man is an island. On the social aspect of our life, not necessarily that we are going to just focus on our family circle. Because on our social aspect of life, we can develop a good relationship to anybody, everybody, to our co-workers, our relatives, and to our neighbors having a positive purpose in our social life it helps us to be a better person social skills is your ability to interact to communicate or to deal with other people around you learning to have a better social skills is really uh, important in our daily living because this is the way on how we deal with other people how we interact with them and how we deal, we deal with them. Me personally, I hope and pray that I will be a blessing to everybody that I come to encounter every day. To have a well-meaningful and balanced life, we need also to take care of our mental health. According to Mr. Jim Rohn, that every day we must be on guard in whatever things or idea that we let enter into our brain because our brain will dictate our body and our body will react so it is very important to take care of our brain we need also to feed our uh, mental health or our brain with positive things because if we are mentally positive it will also help us to uh, regulate our thoughts, our feelings, and actions. According to the internet, good mental health helps you enjoy life and cope with problems. It offers a feeling of well-being and inner strength. Just as you take care of your body by eating right and exercising, you can do things to protect your mental health. In fact, eating right and exercising can help maintain good mental health. Let's take care of our mental health to be a happy and positive person. Having purpose in everything we do, that will be the best because it gives us um positive it helps us to move forward even how difficult doing to that things and next that we have to improve in ourself is self-confidence um self-confidence is very important because if we have this uh it helps us to have a better relationship with others and we can also perform better and you are not uh, afraid to speak up 
and especially if you have your own idea you're not afraid of uh, uh, sharing it speaking of self-confidence it was sad with my own experience when i was growing up um based on my experience uh, i grew up on the farm in the middle of nowhere and um, didn't really have um, i should say that having a self-confidence so i grew up of having a very low self-confidence self-confidence is very important in our life and there are things that help us to be able to improve our self-esteem so one thing that um i could share with you um learning skills that really helps you to uh, boast your self-confidence well, i remembered before when i was uh, in my high school um i was really having a low self-confidence or uh, low self-esteem and um, even i know what was the answer but i really afraid to answer it in front of uh, the class because i thought that you know in my thinking that they might laugh at me and i could not take that is so embarrassing so most of the time i just keep silent so self-confidence is very important because if we have that uh, we perform better and we also uh, do better even with our relationship with others improving our self-confidence daily is uh, another thing that would really help us and um, how to improve that is by learning more skills if you need to study more books listening to audio or some other uh, things that people already uh, shared about them how they overcome with uh, low self-esteem and that's really something that would help us uplift our self-esteem by learning something in the back of your mind you have a lot of plans what to do but this self-confidence is just blocked it it blocks what you want to do so uh, that, that is a big barrier for you to perform better so if we are going to find out how to improve our self-confidence daily uh, that will be great and one thing that i would like to share with you about improving your self-confidence is by improving yourself even being healthy even the way you dress up uh, the way you talk and the way you relate to others the way you listen that's also improve our self-confidence number three that things we must improve daily is preparation so in whatever things we do uh, for example we are uh, cooking a meal of course before we do our uh, cooking we have to prepare the things that we need to use and uh, everything we have it line up and also we already have in our mind what we're gonna do so the same as in life preparation is very important in our life so whatever you do today it prepares you for tomorrow so do not um, think that whatever you do today that it, it is useless because you will um, be having that result not today not tomorrow but in the future and it depends on what are the things that you are preparing for so this is my personal experience that i would like to share with you and i hope that you uh, will be inspired of my um, experience so like what i said i grew up in the middle of nowhere on the farm and then it was so difficult because we didn't really have a lot of exposure to other people it was just exposure with the with my family and 
even when I was on the farm, in my mind, I really want to do something. And um, so we were uh, doing, you know, when we are playing with my siblings, we used to play, you know, like in the classroom, we're trying to imitate the teachers and students, you know, uh, in the classroom settings. So most of the time I would ask my siblings if uh, I could be the teacher because I always admired the teacher, you know, my teacher when I was in my first grade, I always admired her. And then it was in my mind that when I grew up, I want to be a teacher too. So when we were playing, I always ask my, um, my siblings, can I play as, uh, as a teacher? And we took turn after my turn to be a teacher. So it will be another sibling of mine to be a teacher. Um, we acted also myself and the other siblings of mine acted as students. So becoming a teacher, it was really my passion. I wanted so bad. So I prepared myself to be uh, a teacher. So preparing myself to be a teacher by profession in the future, it was not really easy. Uh, there was a lot of um, ups and downs, and um, especially when it comes to financial, that was really a big challenge how to get there. But um, I did not give up because I was preparing myself every day that in the future, I will be a teacher, that I will be a teacher by profession. So uh, to make the long story short, I uh, become a teacher or I became a teacher uh, back in 2005, um, the dream came true. So while preparing for this, you cannot believe of my experience but this is really true. This is my personal experience. I counted all the years that I've been preparing myself to be a teacher. It took me 11 years, 11 long years until I finally get my diploma as a teacher. And it was so uh, amazing feeling inside that uh, even it was so long the preparation was not easy the preparation to be a teacher uh, took me 11 years so the reason why that it took me 11 years to prepare myself because uh, i was a working student all throughout my uh, my schooling so i have to um enroll only like nine units uh, supposed to be the full time or the full load when you are in college like 27 units in one semester and because of me being a working student so i only enrolled like nine so instead of taking the subject for one semester or uh, the 27 units um, only for one semester so it took me a year and a half to uh, be able to get the one semester for the regular students, for the students who are not working. But for me, I just keep slugging along. I was so determined that I want to prepare myself to be a professional teacher in the future. So it took 11 years for me to finally uh, get my degree and got my uh, license as a professional teacher so it's a good feeling like I always feel to myself that preparation time is never a wasted time because what you do today it prepares you tomorrow and um, like the doctor the attorney whatever profession they have it is not just overnight so we have a long years to prepare so things we must improve daily uh, this is part one and first learn the power of purpose so purpose is very important in our life because it points us where to go and even how difficult the way to go there 
it, it helps us to keep going because we have the purpose why we're doing such thing and number two is self-confidence self-confidence is very important because it helps us to be uh, to perform better and to have a better relationship to others too and um, there are things that we can uh, do to improve our self-confidence by improving our skills or uh, even our health and everything that would help us to uh, improve our self-confidence and number uh, number three is preparation so these are the three things that uh, we need to improve daily and again i quoted this uh, topic by jim ron thank you so much guys for watching i hope that these three things that i shared with you today that you have learned something too and you could also share to others thank you so much guys and please don't forget to like and subscribe on my channel see you again on my next videos bye for now god bless us all